It's not just a game. Darkness. And here we go. You want to talk about rookie signature picks. We got to see the LeBlanc last oh! game. It's Zoe this game. And Team Liquid will pick the Lux. Lux here for Jensen. Now, if Zoe ever uses her ultimate, it lands a very easy light binding for the Lux. She's gotten multiple buffs over the last year to the burst damage, the cooldown of the ultimate. Definitely a high value, but also possibly vulnerable mid laner when facing against a Rek'Sai. All right, mid lane, Jensen versus Rookie. I really want to keep an eye on how Jensen is able to land these skill shots, because we know Rookie, like, Zoe's a champion that frustrates many players playing against it because of just how easily it is for her to blow you up. Rookie has landed Paddle Star after Paddle Star on Jensen, whittling down his health. And he, too, does not have Teleport taking cleanse in this lane, so might need some help to clear out these minions. And there's Xmithy providing that help. Does manage to get the mark onto Rookie, which means he could get the stun with the auto attack. But Falon is right there nearby, just in case Team Liquid wanted to try it. He's saying, no, sir, not happening, not on my watch. You gotta respect how much attention both supports give to their mid laners in the matchup between these two squads. Double lift eating a lot of damage coming out there from Jackie Love. Taunt down onto two, plenty of damage being returned. The double of being very respectful of Invictus Gaming's bottom lane. Ning also hanging out down here. Level 5 on the Rek'Sai. Balan just ate a minion in the middle of that trade. That's why Jackie took so much damage there. Mistakes starting to creep into IG's gameplay. Critically, though, I think Double Fix expected him to eat Jackie Love because he didn't get the, lost, the last auto attack off. So the Kai'Sa last auto attack actually not procking. Ooh, here comes the Skarner. Balan's thrown up in the air. All you need is the taunt, then you get the follow-up stun, and first blood over to Sharima's favorite Scorpion. And X Smithy comes to collect. Oh, it's a win condition. So many expected for TL coming into this tournament, but mid lane. Rookie in some trouble. Pops the cleanse, but now bottom side is going to be 2v2. Ning's going to oh. be bursted down. It's one for one, but Team Liquid takes out the enemy jungler. And that's the jungler down in the bottom lane trying to save Balan and Jackie Love, not able to get it done. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Sleepy Trouble. Nice block from McSmith. However, this is Ning saying, my bottom lane is getting destroyed. I must do something. So tries to flash in for the game, but well turned around from double lifting Core JJ. Yeah, Core JJ early channels the taunt. So even though Ning flashes in for the knockup, he's able to get it off. Here we go, though. Three members from each team mid. Can Jensen find the binding into the CC? There's a nice three-man taunt from Core JJ. This man makes plays for Team Liquid. These players' performances when the pressure is on, when the opponent is of the highest caliber, means everything. Now it's Smith, he goes again. The Smith. trouble bubble has missed, and that means you are in trouble yourself. Rookie taking a lot of damage, comes back in only to die, as now another fight breaks out in the bottom river. X Smithy and Jensen make their way over to the team, oh. and now they're going to be looking for even more. X smithy has got the haste from his zone, and a nice binding. Beautiful Blast Cone keeps him alive. Only long enough for Devil to give him the plasma. Has what he needs to be successful in a team fight. Also thanks to Summoner Spellbook currently sitting on Ignite Exhaust. As topside is Jackie Love, who could be in some trouble. Balon's going to keep him safe, but now the follow-up is here. x he says, you get over here, and goes on a killing spree. Impact the bottom lane, now going to be in some trouble. Trying to turn around and make it a one-for-one, one, but he will not do so. x Smithy continuing to hover behind Double Lift and Core JJ. Ning trying to solo this Drake because he saw them top and impact. Well, somebody's going to get soloed, and Ning is in danger now. Rookie coming out, trying to come in, help that jungler. Impact goes into the stasis, keeping himself alive for now. But there comes x Smithy. Rookie's in some trouble, getting himself away. The Shy now bringing the counter damage in, as here comes that enemy jungler. Ning's not able to find the kill. Instead, it's Bellon now having to make the save. Everybody's coming in from both sides. A double kill over to Jensen. It's about to be three. They're going to put the catch back on the bench. But Jackie Love grabs a kill to Impact. He's trying to get himself away, but the follow-up is there. Core JJ channels the taunt, and Jackie can't resist. Double up goes on a killing spree as Team Liquid look for even more. Smithy with no Predator, also has no Flash. Garner engage potential, not quite where they'd like it to be, but Jensen lands some good damage. Jackie Love, you're suppressed, and there is no way out. You cannot be making passing like that up against the Skarner pick potential. They'd like to steal the blue buff away if they can, but a blue buff is not worth throwing away this kind of a lead for. Gonna reset a little bit there. Rookie will say thanks for the leash, boys, but ultimately, Balron, what are you doing, Ning? Where are you at? I 
Big G teleports themselves right on top of Team Liquid, only to be counterattacked instantly. The Shy will do nothing from here. Taken down. One more auto attack seals the deal. A double over to Xfinity. Jackie loves your next target. More damage coming through. Xfinity seals his fate. A triple for the Scarner. Jake the Vice is over the wall. He's going to survive. Impact is here. Xfinity's going to get the stun. Rookie in some trouble. He tries to stay alive. He's almost able to outplay Xfinity, but not quite yet. The damage isn't there. Foul on the last remaining member of Invictus Gaming. And Team Liquid finds their ace. And this might be it. You can already see the prep minion wave. TL can push in. I thought I would never say it again. But I never doubt it. Let's take a look at how this all starts because this is the Baron, the ultimate land, but once again, Core JJ playing goalie and the last pick coming up huge. IG need to make this fight work, but TL is just so far ahead. And they are funneling right where Team Liquid want them. Team Liquid were trying to back, but they show up right in front of Core JJ. The double taunt just locks them up long enough for the three members to collapse. This is all without impact there. Double F heads down the river, cancels his recall, chases down the shy, and gets the double. Yeah, and you might think, why is IG going for this place? It looks like desperation. Well, that's because it is. This is match point right now. This is Liquid so far ahead in the game. Crucially, impact just swapped to the flash. You saw him ignite, uh, exhaust the shy. He wants to get in. They're looking for the last team fight. Mid lane in here, still going to be just oh. chipped away piece by piece. Core JJ with a flash top, but a very nice save from Balon. Going to be keeping IG alive for now. Sleepy trouble level down onto Jensen, but there's no way to get follow up damage in there when everybody else is playing Secret Service. Core JJ on the flank, impact in the bottom lane. Gravity Well's gonna buy a little bit of time, keeping Xfinity away. He tries to get in there. Rookie could be in some trouble, having to flash himself away. Team Liquid still not able to find the fight just yet. Impact in a whole lot of trouble, gonna be taken down. Big shutdown for IG. Team Liquid stay around long enough to take down the second inhibitor, Ooh. but now they're in some real trouble. Jensen's gonna be killed. It's a trade for the Shy. It's two for one so far. Bellon did a lot of damage. Devil is able to find a double kill. Rookie's gonna be targeting next thing, barely getting himself away. Team Liquid will break even on the fight, but will they continue to push? That is hope for Invictus Gaming. They got one of those big shutdowns on Impact and another shortly after on Jensen. They've cashed in on some of the money and Rookie's trying to make it happen. All three inhibitors down. I mean, they will come flooding into the base. Top and mid will arrive first. They are doubled up. Wave clear can only do so much. Big Smithy Pop in the Righteous Glory wants to go after somebody, but when Tom Kench is nearby, it's always so damn risky. Team Liquid allowing the minions to push up and do their thing. Nexus turret number one, almost going to be taken down. Nice pull! Still it goes legendary. Impact will not find anybody there with the cannon ultimate. IG are now on a four versus five. Victor ultimate going to be keeping Core JJ away. Redemption coming down, keeping everybody topped off. Still looking to maybe find this fight. x is going to be put to sleep, but Jackie's going to be put on the ground. Still it goes legendary. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Liquid will do it. Haters, be silent. Expectations, be damned. One of the biggest moments in League of Legends history as Team Liquid take down the reigning world champs. Defending world champions, LPL champions, nine and one in group stages. But the fact cannot be debated that on this day, Team Liquid are the better team. They complete the upset, 3-1 victory over Invictus Gaming. And they destroy them. One game aside, everything else today was Team Liquid favors. Everyone rose to the occasion and they put together the complete product to carry North America to their first MSI final. They say Invictus Gaming play a level of their opponents, but today, Team Liquid rise to the level of their opponents. Team Liquid was put together to do this. At the beginning of this split, everyone said, this is the craziest roster anybody's put together in North America. If they don't succeed internationally, how will NA succeed internationally? Well, they just did it. That's a step up, and that's Team Liquid saying, come at us. Because look at the pieces. They bring together Impact and Core JJ, two world champions who both had amazing performances, but it's the other members, you know, the Smithy, the Double Lift, joined this year by Jensen, that have come in and just put on one hell of a show.